Greta, I saw your presentation at COP24, and it was compelling, but I respectfully dispute your statements. A child is a miracle, Greta. A child should be able to live in joy, entranced by the wonder of the world, not in fear of the future or hatred of their elders. Big Climate is a $1.5 trillion global industry. Greta, it's all built on a faulty premise that carbon dioxide is like a control knob on climate. But science has shown that that is not true. Your ancestor, Svant Arrhenius, not only developed the hothouse theory of catastrophic global warming, he also amended his catastrophic view. In 1906, in this paper, he wrote in German, he decided that warming would be perhaps around 1.5 degrees Celsius and beneficial. So when people tell you that the world only has 12 years left, they're telling you science fiction, not science fact. Those scary predictions come from computer simulations that are based on a worst-case scenario that is so far removed from reality, many scientists are angry that people are being scared and fooled in this way. But climate has become a big green business. That's who is greedy and uncaring. Big green doesn't mind if poor people become poorer from heat or eat poverty. They just want the subsidies and the carbon credits. Let them eat carbon. You said, we adults have done nothing. That's not true. What amazing advances we've made in this world. People once lived lives that were solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, and short. That was a good description of life in the Little Ice Age just maybe 150 years ago or so. Then you might have had to marry at age 15 because people were only expected to live until they were about 35. You say that we're stealing our children's future. I disagree. My late mother lived to the age of 93. She was born before the radio was invented. Her father plowed the fields behind a horse, guiding a hand plow with a yoke around his neck. She lived through the Great Depression when many people lived on the verge of starvation. She and her brothers fought in World War II, and she lived to see humans Land on the moon, Greta. What incredible things humans have accomplished. What a fabulous future you have. And almost all of these accomplishments were only possible thanks to the power of coal, natural gas, and oil. We cannot stop climate change, Greta, but we can be prepared for changes in climate, which, if you study history, you will know that there are many. Get off the strike line and go to school. Learn to think for yourself. Be curious so you can't be fooled. And have hope. We live in a world of wonder where science is about inquiry, not compliance. For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling.